Did Noah Beck just break the internet? We will fill you in on all the details regarding Noah's not safe for work photos and how Dixie reacted to everything. I'm Kelsey McDonald and you're watching The Daily Report. Happy Thursday! I remember today because I didn't yesterday. Almost done with the week, guys. We're close. We're doing it. We're almost there. Our fave TikTok couple, Noah Beck and Dixie D'Amelio, have been keeping it super low-key lately, and not gonna lie, we kind of miss them. <laughs> Hashtag Doa has been together since September, and we've been following their every move because they're just so adorable. How can you not? So what has been going on with the couple? Well, Noah has been in the spotlight for the last couple of days due to posting some photos on Instagram that were... <clears throat> Not safe for work, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the photos started trending immediately and were so hot that Instagram wouldn't even let him keep them up and we can't even show them because they are that hot. <laughs> Noah posted the photos taken by photographer Damon Baker on Monday night and the internet went crazy because he was wearing just a pair of Calvin Klein underwear in the series of photos. Damon also posted the photos and his were taken down as well. Both Noah and Damon spoke out about the post being deleted. Damon wrote on Instagram, quote, Dear Instagram, what exactly is offensive about a confident male body? Stop censoring art. Thanks. Noah also commented on the situation to his 7.5 million followers on Instagram. He posted on his story, quote, Y'all are soft over at Instagram. Stop taking my stuff down. Like, yes, I was kind of naked, but like, not completely, lol. I didn't violate any guidelines. Pep Glore Paparazzi caught up with Noah yesterday and asked him about the photos being taken down. He said that Instagram told him the reason they kept taking down the photos was because people kept reporting them. Noah told them, quote, I wanted to try something new, like I've never done anything. Like, yeah, I have my shirt off a lot, but it's like I wanted to try something different. He continues to say that he has been wanting to work with Damon for a while, so he was excited to post the work that they did together. Even though the photos were reported and taken down, we still support Noah's decision to try something new. You never know what he could do next. So what did Dixie have to say about these photos? Before Noah or Damon's photos were removed from Instagram, Dixie reposted the series of pictures on her Instagram story with quote, holy f Yup, that pretty much sums it up. <laughs> when Pep Glore Paparazzi asked Noah how Dixie reacted, Noah said, quote, it was like a proud girlfriend moment. They also try to see if any female celebs have tried to slide into his DMs. And Noah, being the loyal boyfriend that he is, said, quote, Dixie D'Amelio, she's the only one I care about. He ended his conversation with the paparazzi saying, quote, Doa is gonna take over this year. Doa's taking over. And we cannot wait, Noah, we cannot wait. Does anyone else notice that when Noah talks about Dixie that he has the biggest smile on his face? He constantly gushes about her and talks about how wonderful she is and it's so adorable. He recently chatted with Access Hollywood about his upcoming show with Awesomeness TV called Noah Beck Tries Things. And after teasing episodes of the show and who will be appearing, like, you know, James Charles, Blake Ray, and Dixie, to name a few, he was even asked about his relationship with Dixie. When asked what it was like to know that so many people around the world care about what is happening between them, Noah said, quote, yeah, I mean, it's just so different from what I'm used to, obviously, because I'm still new, somewhat new to all this. And I mean, I've I've had to adapt and learn very quickly. He goes on to say, quote, Dixie is a huge part of my life and it's kind of cool to see like that we have so many supporters and so many people like rooting for us. Yet it's also very overwhelming because when we start getting some of the bad comments, some of the negative things that people have to say about us, it's not cool to see and it's not ideal, but I mean, we have to roll with it. He continues saying that he and Dixie try not to look at the negative comments that are thrown at them, but it is a part of being in the public eye. He said that he thinks it's so cool how much fans support their relationship. I mean, I know we do, we're absolutely obsessed. <laughs> I wouldn't say obsessed, I'd say a healthy amount. <laughs> not only did we get a glimpse into the relationship now, but what about their future? Noah also spoke to Entertainment Tonight about if he could see himself marrying Dixie. And Noah said, quote, I can definitely see myself marrying Dixie, and that's the goal. 
Noah added that he thinks she is his forever person, and honestly, we love to hear it, and we cannot wait to see the episode of Noah and Dixie together because we need some more of them in our lives. <laughs> but now we want to know what you think. Are you going to be watching Noah Beck tries things? Who are you most excited to see on the show? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to subscribe to the Awesomeness TV Daily Report channel. We are almost at 100k subscribers, like literally so close, so if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button now, and make sure to follow us at Awesomeness TV on Instagram for more. Um, I'm Kelsey McDonald, and whew, talk about love in the air, am I right? Here for it, love it, can't wait.